Hi, welcome to your video on transformations, um, which is a big title. Uh, specifically, to, in today's video, it will be on translations, uh, which you'll learn about the vocabulary for those two words. But um, you will be able to graph translations and describe them. So here's your vocabulary. Uh, a transformation is a change of position or size of a figure. Um, it can be any shape. It can be... Um, a line, any type of change of position or size. Translation is what we're going to be focusing on today. It is a, a type of transformation that moves points the same distance and in the same direction. Um, this you probably have heard of referred to as like a slide in elementary school um, where you're moving a shape um, in the same direction and same distance. Another vocabulary word that's important is an image. Um, that's what you call the figure after it's been translated or moved. Um, and it uses prime notation. And I've given you kind of a picture of what it looks like. It's kind of like a little apostrophe. Um, and here in this picture, you can see um, here was the original dot. And then the image of A is the blue dot. Um, and then we use prime notation, which means we now call it A, and then it's got the little asterisk sign next to it. Um, so that way we know this was the original, and this is the new one. How do I translate a figure? Um, so here are some points, and I'm going to plot them, and then we will. I will show you how to translate them. Um, so H is negative 1, negative 2, which is going to be right here. That's going to be H. Um, I is 0, 1. And J is 1, negative 2. So we have a triangle here. Looks like this. Um, so now I'm going to translate it. And let's say I wanted to translate it up 4 units. So what you're going to do is take take that point that you started at, and you're just going to go up four. So from H, I'm going to go one, two, three, four. I'm going to end up right here. Um, and then I need to label that H prime. Um, so that's the image. Remember, after you move it, I, I start where it was, and I go up four. One, two, three, four. That's going to be I prime. And then J prime would be up one, two, three, four, right here, J. Notice the image doesn't change size, um, it just changes location. Um, so that would be up four units. And um, let's do another one. I'll just do a different color. Um, let's say we wanted to start from our original, um, which is the yellow one, and let's say we wanted to go down six and left five. So now I'm going to start at my original again. I'm going to go down six, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm kind of running out of room. And then um, left five, one, two, three, four, five. I would be here. So I'm going to call that H prime. Now, um, if you have more than one image on one, you can make it a double prime. Um, but I'm just going to just do one, being I'm doing different colors. Um, if you're not doing different colors, that might be a way for you to determine it. Um, next one, um, I, down six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and left five would be right here. And J, same thing, down six. And left five would give me here, that would be J prime. And there's my triangle again. Um, and then I could also retell the coordinates. For example, I prime for green would be at negative 5, negative 5. So if I needed to do that, I could. Next question is how do I write a rule to describe translations? So sometimes you'll be given a, a picture of an image and a, a shape and its image. Um, and then it'll be asked, it'll say, well, what was the rule? Um, and it's great to be able to say, you know, up this many or over this many. Um, but you also want to be able to write a rule. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do um, right now. 
So here's our first picture. Um, and as you can see, it went from W, and you always want to start at the one that doesn't have the prime symbol, and it went up one, two, three, four. Okay, and all of them did that. And if you were to look, um, all of these are going up four. Okay, um, and so we want to say for, to, for our coordinates, um, X, Y, um, is the original, and then it's going to shift, it's going to change, and now X, what happened to it? Um, so the best way to go about this is just kind of pick a point, so I'm going to pick W. W was uh, negative 2, negative 1, and then it changed to negative 2, and then it went to 3. So I'm picking a point, and that's going to help me describe this. Um, so I noticed that x didn't change at all. So I'm going to just say x and then for my coordinate because it didn't change, I'm going to keep it that way. Um, and then to describe y, if I look here, y went from negative 1 to 3. So I want to know the difference of the two. So I'm going to take 3 minus negative 1 because we want to do the difference of the two. Um, and that's going to give me an answer of 4. So it changed 4, which means I'm going to say y plus 4. That should work, and I can double check it with another coordinate. Um, let's pick x. x was 3, negative 1. So if now that means that my new point should be 3, comma, and then negative 1 plus 4 would be just 3, and I can check to make sure that that's right, which it is, it does end on 3. So I know I wrote my notation correctly. So the notation here, I'll circle it, was the x parenthesis and then y plus 4. Um, another one, similar, just a little more complicated, looks like this. Um, and here I want to see what's happening. I can tell that I went from U, I went down to, and over, 6. So now I have to write my notation. So it started at X, Y, and then it went to, and now I have to explain what happened. So using my coordinates is going to be helpful. Um, and you can pick whatever coordinate, it doesn't matter, I'm just going to pick U. Um, so U coordinate started at negative 4, 2. And then it went and ended up being 2, 0. So now I have to explain how that happened. So I'm going to find the difference. Going, It went from 2 to negative 4. What happened? It changed 6. It went 6 to the right. Um, and then... Going from, or I should add that in there. Okay, so that was my x. So I'm going to say x plus 6. Now I have to talk about my y. My y term went, is 0 to 2. That's negative 2. So I'm going to say minus 2 here. Um, and notice that that should match with what um, actually happens. Um, but there's the math involved. This is my rule. Um, and then it also, just a side note, um, if you're catching on, you probably maybe are. Um, but if you're talking about x, that's sideways on the x-axis. Plus means you're going to the right. Minus means going to the left. Um, you'll catch up on that. But as long as you're doing your math and showing your work and adding and finding the dis difference, you'll be okay. Um, y is up and down, um, and then up means plus, and then down obviously means minus. Um, so you might catch on to that, but just do your math, find the difference. Um, that's the easiest way to write this notation because it's very, very, very easy to accidentally say, you know, x minus 6 instead of x plus 6, and that does make a huge difference. All right, your turn. First question, write a rule to describe what happened in this picture. 
make sure you start at the original and image um, original shape and then go to the image not the other way um, because that's a mistake that can be made and then the second one what are the coordinates um, of this shape when it is translated down three units um, you will need to do a Google form so don't forget to fill that out when you are done Google form that please so that I know where you're at when we're talking about this this is the end of your video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.